हेलो सब्सक्राइबर्स वेलकम टू द फास्ट प्रॉफिट्स डेली आई एम ब्रिजेश भाटिया रिसेंटली ऑस्ट्रेलिया हैज वॉन द वर्ल्ड टेस्ट चैंपियंस एंड इंडिया लूजिंग द वर्ल्ड टेस्ट चैंपियनशिप इन स्पाइट हैविंग द वेल नोन प्लेयर्स लाइक रोहित शर्मा विराट कोहली अजिंक्य रहाणे चेतेश्वर पुजारा इवन इफ यू लुक एट द लाइक्स ऑफ बॉलर्स लाइक उमेश यादव एंड मोहम्मद शामी वेल the indian markets is uh, in a similar context to the uh, well known uh, players uh, or the i would say the large cap uh, uh, stocks if i just go uh, one man uh, one month back and uh, if i just uh, focus on the ipl well uh, some of the uh, uncapped players or uh, the small uh, the unknown players uh, have uh, been a strong outperformer uh, against and they have overshadowed uh, the performance of the large or the known players and similarly in the stock in the stock markets uh, where we are witnessing that the small cap stocks have been overshadowing or even the mid cap stocks have been overshadowing the uh, performance of the li- uh, the uh, large caps or the blue chips well in this video i'll be discussing about uh, this small cap stock and why i believe the second half could lead uh, be uh, by the small caps rather than the large caps and why uh, you should focus on uh, the small cap stocks we will discuss on the charts of small cap index uh, its performance against the nifty or the ratio charts so uh, let's start uh, uh, start with the uh, uh, index over here well if i just look at the last uh, few uh, weeks especially the last since the start of the april uh, or mid of april we have seen that uh, the mid cap and small cap stocks have seen a tremendous rally and uh, the lesser known entities over the large caps or uh, have been overshadowing uh, the performance of the large caps and these mid cap stocks have seen a huge rally coming on to the uh, small cap stocks since uh, the last one year performance if i just look at uh there are few stocks which have uh, r- r- rallied over 100% if i just name some of them is the rbnl uh, the railway stock which has seen 275% rally uh, musgaon stock 265% rally and this i'm taking from the uh, closing of uh, 31st may which is from the 1st of june till the 12th of june the weekly close uh, the last week close uh, jsl around 180% fact uh, fertilizers around 150% करूर वैश्या बैंक अराउंड हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी नाइन परसेंट यूको बैंक हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर परसेंट के पी आई टी ओवर हंड्रेड परसेंट हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट एंड आई डी एफ सी ओवर हंड्रेड परसेंट सो दीज आर द फ्यू स्टॉक्स विच हैव रैलीड ओवर हंड्रेड परसेंट इन वन इयर एंड इफ आई जस्ट लुक एट द स्मॉल कैप इंडेक्स दिस इज द वीकली चार्ट ऑन यूर स्क्रीन एंड इफ यू लुक एट दिस वीकली चार्ट वी आर विटनेसिंग टू थ्री पैरामीटर्स टू वॉच ओवर इयर एंड दैट इज दिस इज द a uh, chart where i believe uh, the things are changing on to the uh, small cap index and uh, this is convincing me that the second half could belong to uh, uh, these uh, small cap stocks first if you look at the march 2023 uh, bottom uh, where the previous uh, swing lows were broken around 9000 levels was uh, being held strongly by uh, the bulls into the small cap index and in march we saw the breach of uh, 9000 levels within that week after the breach we saw a v shape recovery coming into the uh, uh, week in those that week and on the weekly scale we are witnessing a hammer candlestick pattern which is again a sign of bullish reversal on to here importantly that shake out where the most of the stop loss have been triggered and most of the people have exited that that things are changing on uh, have been trapped so there was this is basically uh, the bull trap which and uh, the breakdown got failure which resulted in the shake out second if i just look at uh, the whole consolidation after rally from uh, probably uh, 2022 uh, uh, june 22 bottom uh, towards uh, the uh, december january rally we saw this consolidation uh, into uh, probably september 2022 rally and since then it went into the consolidation with the uh, positive coming into the uh, G- uh, december where the highs was uh, similar to the uh, september and then we saw the consolidation continuing this consolidation is around 38 weeks and why i'm emphasizing on 38 weeks is because 38.2 is the fibonacci number and generally when this fibonacci time cycle theory breaks out they tend to uh, give a more uh, strength to the breakout so yes uh, with the 38 weeks uh, i believe yes the consolidation breakout is there uh, the shakeout has happened the bullish candlestick reversal has happened over here 
indeed resulting in that uh, the uh, trend has been very very bullish onto the charts now with the uh, breakout the oscillator in the bottom if you look at the rsi over here we are witnessing bullish range shift happening just prior to the breakout onto the price chart above uh, rsi has broken about this previous swing uh, high resulting in the bullish range shift happening and that was the first sign of strength that the breakout is on the cards onto the uh, price and we have seen two week backs uh, this breakout uh, uh, which was holding for quite some time the range it broke out uh, over there resulting in the positive momentum the last week as well so yes uh, with the breakout there is is a bullish range shift indicating that the uh, strength is there into the uh, price breakout so basically rsi measures the momentum with this uh, strength and now the strength with the breakout indicates yes there is a huge opportunity uh, onto the uh, small can types to head higher onto the weekly scale and i'm not looking from a short term span of uh, a daily or slightly lower than i'm looking for a weekly which could results in a uh, 3 to 5 week of uh, 3 to 5 months of uh, bullish movement and that's the reason i'm looking at the second half of 2023 could be led by the small caps the second chart which I want to highlight over is the point and figure chart. Now, if you look at this point and figure chart, as I said, uh, the rally uh, of around uh, 3200 uh, towards 11,000 uh, 11, levels, uh, though the uh, point and figure chart does not measure the time, it generally measures the uh, price. But look at this rally. After a, a rally, there was a huge consolidation. Now, we are breaking out of the uh, triangle structure. And importantly, this triangle is 45 degree. So 45 degree triangle breakout into the point and figure chart is a strong pattern uh, which results in uh, uh, the trend change. Now, in this case, uh, the breakout is on a positive side, which means that after rally a consolidation resulting in 45 degree uh, triangle breakout is a sign of resumption of bullish momentum. Now, once this resumption happens, uh, uh, the momentum could continue. Second, if you look at this blue line over there, uh, it is a breakout from the uh, previous swing high, which is the pattern called double top buy. Now, what is double top buy? Basically, after a rally, there is a retracement and then the rally continues once the previous high is taken out. Now, if you look at the rally over here from around 8000 to somewhere around 10,000 plus levels, it got retraced back towards 86, 8700 levels. Now, again, the breakout has happened uh, over there, resulting in double top buy. And this is again a bullish structure. Now, with the uh, triangle breakout, 45 degree triangle uh, breakout, uh, double top buy breakout, it indicates that there is a resumption in this bullish momentum. And uh, as we saw on the price chart as well on the weekly scale, uh, where the candlestick reversal uh, with the 38 uh, weeks Fibonacci breakout happened, it indicates that yes, still there is a huge potential onto the small cap index to head higher. The third chart which I want to highlight is why the small cap will outperform the uh, Nifty 50. Now, if I if you look at this chart over here, we broke out of bullish head and shoulder or the inverse head and shoulder right in 2021 uh, start. We saw a rally of outperformance by small cap uh, over Nifty 50 then the vice versa happened nifty outperformed uh, the small cap index since uh, the june 2021 and it went into consolidation the uh, ratio chart now if you look at the ratio chart has retested this bullish head and shoulder breakout over uh, if you look at uh, 0.5251 levels now if you look at there is an uptick into uh, the recent move now if i just look at since start of 2023 Nifty is up above, uh, probably if I let's look at the close of 2022 and uh, look at the first half. Uh, as of now, we are closing the uh, first half in next uh, couple of weeks. Nifty is up about 3, 3.5%. At the same time, the small cap in the last six months in 2023 is by over 9%. So if that a huge difference of 6% over there onto the small cap index over the uh, Nifty. And that has resulted in the recent momentum of bullish uh, trend into the small cap where you see the ratio has been getting higher. Importantly, since April 2022, this is the first time that uh, the 200 uh, weekly uh, average, the more exponential moving average has been surpassed on the ratio charts, which is a sign of bullish momentum again. If you look at the green line over there, the previous high is also taken out, which means that the higher high, uh, the lower high, lower low structure has been uh, turning into the uh, the previous high been taken out, which means that the lower high, lower low structure has been negated now. Again, a sign of bullish momentum or, or is a trend change level over here. 
so yes if i just look at all the uh, uh sum up all to the all the three charts over here on to the uh candlestick pattern uh we saw a bullish hammer uh 38.2 uh 38 uh weeks fibonacci time cycle breakout rsi bullish range shift happening over there and if i just look at uh, the point and vigor chart we saw 45 degree trend uh trend or the uh, triangle breakout followed by double top by which is again a resumption of uh, bullish momentum and now the ratio chart is heading above the 200 weekly exponential moving average onto the ratio chart with the previous high been taken out again a sign of uh, bullish momentum over here now interestingly if small cash have had to lead uh, i have highlighted 14 stocks where i think out of the nifty uh, small cap 100 i have highlighted 14 stock where the uh, there could be the potential upside uh, looking at the chart structure uh, starting with the list bcg uh, leads the table and again i'm not considering uh, the volumes or some of the stock like bcg move circuit to circuit so if in case you uh, are uh, slightly risk averse keep in think, keep in mind that i'm not looking at uh, the volume criteria over here i'm just looking at the performance uh, and i have created a matrix uh, based on the performance uh, which uh, ranks uh, as per the uh, performance in last uh, a few weeks few months and few quarters so these are the few uh, performing stocks which i have highlighted based on the ranking system which i follow uh, bcg led uh, leads the table uh, tanla mazgao dog nlc india canfino and if you remember i have done a video i guess in uh, november if i uh, don't if i remember the exact month uh, where i have highlighted few stocks uh i guess four or five stocks i have highlighted uh into that video on to the small cap stock which you should keep a watch on idfc was one of them nlc nlc india was one of them uh i guess bank of maharashtra was one of them i don't remember the exact stocks but you can go on to that uh, video and uh, look at the stock which i have highlighted in that video and i guess it was in november uh, if i remember exactly uh and then uh we have seen idfc running nlc been trending at 52 week high so there has been a rally of around 30 40 percent on these stocks you can keep a watch on that uh coming on back to the list canfin homes uh is on the radar uh, angel one jsl uh, jsl again is one of the uh, outperforming stocks in the last one year birla corp idfc kpit tag bdl ppl pharma kei and hudko these are the 14 stock which as per my ranking system, I am now looking at again, as I said, this is my ranking system where I look at the daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly charts, which are uh, indicating that the breakout is there based on the price action, based on the RSI, based on the MACD. So yes, with the price action, I'm looking at the strength, which I'm looking at the momentum as well uh, onto the multi time frame analysis. So these are the ranking system which highlighted 14 stocks over and you should you can keep a watch on that and again remember this is not a recommendation which i am making onto these 14 stocks but as per the ranking system as i highlighted uh, the criteria which i have uh, been using onto the multi time frame uh, you can uh, look at some of the stocks uh, and depending upon and i would suggest uh, consult your investment advisor before taking a trade and again this is not a recommendation but just a ranking system which i have been highlighting uh, in this video Signing off, Bridget Vandia.